During a special operation in the Kursk region, the Ukrainian Defense Forces managed to capture fat figures that the Russians will want to quickly return as part of the exchange. This was stated by the People's Deputy of Ukraine from the faction of the political party All Ukrainian Union, Batkev Shitschina, Mykhailo Simbaliuk, on the air of the TV channel Novini.live. The exchange fund is in dire need of increasing, and this special operation has shown that especially the Chechens, those who spoke about the serious special unit Akhmat, will just fill this fund. Then the Russians themselves will come forward with a proposal to carry out another exchange. There really are not only conscripts there, but, as the military say among themselves, fact figures that Russia will want to exchange as quickly as possible, said Simbaliuk. At the same time, as the deputy said, it is known that, according to various estimates, about 10,000 Ukrainian prisoners of war are currently in Russian prisons. These are unofficial data because, in many cases, Russia does not even confirm that it has Ukrainian soldiers in captivity, Simbaliuk added. He considers it a problem that the Russian Federation is improperly treating Ukrainian prisoners of war. Unlike the Russian Federation, we actually have several centers where Russian prisoners of war are held. We have been provided with all the conditions at the level of international law who are allowed to make phone calls to their relatives once a week. If they wish, they even work and receive money. That is, we behave like a civilized European state, the deputy noted. After the start of the operation of the Ukrainian Defense Forces in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation, many Russian servicemen surrendered. In one case, at the checkpoint of entry and exit Sudza, 59 Russian servicemen surrendered. On social media, the military reported the number of about 50 Russian soldiers who raised the white flag. At the same time, Russian propagandists tried to deny this. However, videos of the Russians surrendering were published on a number of Ukrainian telegram channels. As they moved deeper into Russian territory, the Ukrainian military started publishing more and more videos of Russian prisoners of war. They were both conscripts and experienced soldiers of the aggressor country. Some of them were wounded in combat, and Ukrainian soldiers provided them with first aid when they surrendered. Unlike the Russians, Ukraine adheres to all international rules for the treatment of prisoners of war. Противник оказывается, сопротивление. Все, давайте. По позициям, по позициям обратно. A video has been released on Telegram social media app, showing Ukrainian soldiers meeting in dialogue with the local residents of Russia's Kursk region. One of the women, who wanted to leave the area, spoke to the soldiers in Ukrainian and asked them whether she could board their military vehicles. The Ukrainian fighters said there was ammunition in the combat equipment, and that they could not let her board it. They asked the woman whether she was Ukrainian. The woman responded that she was not Ukrainian, but knew the Ukrainian language well. As the Ukrainian soldiers chanted the slogan, Glory to Ukraine, the woman responded, Glory to Ukraine.
Та в нас так куди? Тут... У нас просто там амуніція, не маємо куди, чесно. Ну ладно, потихеньку тоді підемо. Так, але ви українською говорите? Так, да, я, я хоч і не українка, але по-українськи. Да. Так що, слава Україні! Да, слава.